So yeah, we have the new album from Dream Theatre called The Astonishing. Uh, several days ago I made a review of one of the songs called Moment of Betrayal, which didn't go down that well. People didn't like that video, I received a lot of thumbs down. And I really understand that Dream Theatre fans are, are a very dedicated bunch who will defend the band no matter what. So I totally understand. Now I had the chance to listen to this album for a while, for a few days, and my initial thoughts were a bit disappointing. I didn't think much of this album, but instead of making another negative video and receiving a lot of bad comments, I decided to take some more time and really digest and understand the whole concept behind it. So I sat down and I read the uh, the actual storyline, the actual concept, and it's a very, really, you know, captivating one. John Petrucci is a, a very big fan, apparently, of those sagas such as Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and so on. So he decided to create his own saga with his album. So the whole thing is set in 2285, uh, in a very different time. We go back to the feudal times where, you know, the whole land is ruled by a an emperor. And we have people that struggle to survive, they had to work really hard in order to make a living. And the only form of entertainment are these um, robotic beings that float around the air called uh, Nomax, noise machines. And the sound they produce is a very eerie, very uh, unnatural industrial sound that doesn't sound very appealing to people. But because they have nothing else to entertain their lives with, then they are confined to listen to those uh, machines. And then uh, we have this young boy called Gabriel who happens to live in a village called Ravenskill who possesses a gift from God, a gift uh, of music, he sings in a very beautiful way, he also plays guitar and people seem to be really uh, amazed by his talent. So the story goes from there, it's a story of love you know, and hate, a story of death and, uh, and life and most importantly it's a story of freedom. So the concept itself is really beautiful. It really, really goes along with the music, and it helped me to shift my perception of this, of this album. Now I don't think of it as a, as an album that just plods along, without any north. I think there's a purpose for every song, for every piece of music, even for the instrumental bits. When I first listened to those robotic sounds, those interludes. I was thinking like, what the hell is this? Does this doesn't make any sense at all? But now obviously it does because I read the story. So I recommend you to do as well. The story will change, I wouldn't say everything, but a great portion of what you think this album represents. Now, um, on the other hand, I have to admit that I'm still a bit disappointed because a lot of the elements that I love from this band, the elements that keep me going back to their shows and buying their albums and revisiting the music in general are not quite as apparent, are not quite as present here. I'm talking about those long intricate solos, the uh, time signature shifts, you know, uh, the over-the-top grandiose playing, the acrobatics, they're not as present. You do have moments here and there like sparingly where you find those uh, amazing moments, but not as much, which is a bit of a shame. I was really expecting more of that and less of this orchestration. There's a lot of sappy piano ballads instead, which are not bad, they're really, really beautiful. I recommend you to listen to them, uh, where James Labrie and Jordan Rudis seem to shine through. They seem the ones that drive this whole album forward, they are the ones that are at the forefront of the music, which is, again, not bad, but again, uh, I really, really was expecting more 
intricacy, more, you know, that element of awesomeness, that element that leaves you wondering how the hell these guys were able to pull that off. That element is not present here. So, yeah, I really want to know what you think, guys. Uh, I want to know your thoughts. Please leave any comments you have down on the comment section. I like to interact with you, even if you leave a negative comment. I appreciate you take the time to write anything because I'm really really curious to know what you guys think of this album. I think this might be a grower, this might be one that takes years to be fully understood and also it will grow when we have new releases from Dream Theatre and we have to go back to this album and see the real value it offers. But for now I cannot uh, be 100% 100, 100 satisfied with it, so my final word is that um, this is a very hard album to rate, very very hard, because on one hand you have a very beautiful album full of emotional ballads, a lot of emotion, on the other hand you don't have the amazing stuff that Dream Theatre is known for, you know, the intricacy, the solos, the heavy uh, riffing, you know, the, the layers of, of music, of uh, virtuosity these guys gave us for so many years are not that present, so I'm really pleased but at the same time disappointed with this record and I'm really excited to see how this whole concept sounds live I'm gonna be attending a couple of the upcoming shows where they present the astonishing live for the first time so, again, I'm highly satisfied, disappointed with this record and time will tell whether this is a more valuable record than it actually seems.